in this tutorial video we will have a look at how you can add animations to your presentations. So if I added a shape, so if I just go to insert and I'll insert a shape, so let's say I added this shape here. If you select this shape and then go to animations, if you don't have that shape selected and you go to animations you'll see that these are all greyed out. That's because PowerPoint doesn't understand what you want to add an animation to. So if I click on this shape, I can then have a look at these different animations. Now if you click on them, it will show you a mini preview of what the effect is that you have selected. And looking at these, you can see that the green shapes are anything that is an entrance. So if you click on these green ones, they're a way that something enters your presentation. If you have something that is the yellow ones, these are called emphasis. So these are something that won't be necessarily entering, but it will be something that can add an extra effect to it to help it stand out. So that could be really useful if you want people to look at a certain picture, certain text, or a certain title. The red ones are exit. Now these are used if you want something to leave your animation. So it means that it's already on the screen and you want it to disappear afterwards. So you can see that they are split into their three sections here. These are the three main ones that you'll use. You can also use motion paths. Now motion paths are, as the name would suggest, it is the motion that an object will take. Now if we looked at, let's say I wanted something to fly in as part of a presentation, you can also go to effect options and choose which direction you want to come from. So if I want it to come from the right, it comes in from the right side of the screen. If you want it to come from the bottom, you can see it comes from the bottom. And then you've got your other various actions. Now you can also add a second animation to something. So where we click once, we've added it to come in. If I then wanted this object to come in, and then on the next click I want it to leave, so I want to click that and it leaves, well, if I ran this presentation, you would actually find that it wouldn't do that. You would actually see that if I swap these around. So if I click, it's already here, but I wanted this to fly in and then fly out. So if I click, it actually leaves, which isn't what I wanted. So the reason that that has happened is because if you just click on one of these, it just overwrites the previous animation. So what you actually want to do is you want to do fly in as the first one. Then you want to click the button here that says add, add an animation. So what this does is it adds one on top of this. So where you'll see this number one, if I click, let's say fly out, you can see that I've got a two. So what that means is the first animation is going to be fly in. The second animation is fly out because I've added the animation. If you want to see how this acts on an actual timeline, if you click on the animation pane, you get this little section here which shows in which order your animations are going to work. Now, it wouldn't make sense to have it exit before it's entered because it's going to exit and then it's going to enter again. But we actually want it to be this way around as it was originally. So we've got the green one, which is where it will enter and the red one where it will exit. So let's have a look and see what that looks like. Change these around again. So if I click once, you can see it enters. If I click again, you can see it exits. So that is how you can add an animation, but also add an extra animation to it. So it means that it is a much better way of setting up your presentations, and you can have a little bit more control over what your objects are going to do and you can have a bit of a play around with that just to see what these will create and how they will work all together to create a much more eye-catching presentation than just something that just stagnantly sits there because that would be quite boring if it was something that just continuously sits there all the way through your presentations.